Jesus! Right, so before I tell you as to what's going on behind the scenes, there's two things I want to quickly talk about. The first being, hopefully the way I've done things, as this video is being uploaded, it's been uploaded alongside the second best of the best video. And if you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend you watch it. And of course, for those who don't know, to give you a summary as to what the video is, it's what I consider to be the best of the best clips taken from six months worth of contents. So, there are defo, what I consider to be funny moments, I will admit, I've laughed at my own jokes, but if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend watching it. Now moving on to something else. Those who have left comments in the comment section can vouch that I do respond to an awful lot of them. The point is, I do my best to respond to every single one of you because I do enjoy interacting with you. And of course, you know, if you like my content and you show that appreciation, the best way I can word it is I want to show appreciation to you showing appreciation. I don't want you to feel as if I'm ungrateful for you showing the support that you are showing. But the thing is, I believe the latest, yeah, I believe the latest um, example of when this has happened is part one of um, of Half Dead. As of doing this recording, it says that there are five. It says there are five comments, but you can only see four. If I had to guess, the reason behind that is because way back when I set it up so that if anyone posts links, you just can't have the comment up. Now the reason why I did that, if I'm being honest, way back when, someone posted a link to, let's just call it an appropriate site. So I removed it, tagged that person and I basically said, I'd appreciate if you don't do that. So whereas I would like to have you guys access to be able to share links with me, we've got to play it safe. So I do apologise for that. But on to the main topic, the main thing I wanted to share with you. I want to talk about goals, goals for this year. And we're talking, I did mention, you know, the first year hitting 100 subscribers, saying how it is, my goal for this year. Ideally, I would like to hit 250 subscribers in six months. But I don't know, I feel as if that's asking a bit much. So if I can get 250 subscribers in between six months and a year, I'll be, I'd be happy. But um, there's also another goal I've got set in mind, and I think a lot of you will be quite happy with this one. But before I explain it, I just want to quickly reflect on previous message from me to you videos. Let's talk about Telltales. I basically said in my own words, Telltale Season 1 took a very long time to edit, and because it took a long time to edit, I wasn't motivated, we'll call it, I wasn't motivated to work on Season 2, knowing that in the time it makes me to make one video for Telltales, I could make, I don't know, call it five videos, and it just didn't feel right to just put so much effort into a single video when I could put the same amount of effort in five and I was leaning towards that. But let's face it, there are so many people who are wanting season two of Telltales. So, I've also mentioned in another previous message, previous, in another message from me to you video, I've also mentioned how when it comes to setting a goal for the subscriber counts, I'm not in control of that, you guys are. So of course, if you can help me reach that goal, I'd be, I, I would be really grateful, because here's the thing, I know that you are wanting Telltales. I'm just going to say how it is, I've actually recorded the first episode, and I am currently editing it. I can't promise when it's going to get uploaded, but what my goals are for this year, is I'm going to push myself. Whereas the first year, I don't know, call it maybe, yeah, call it was it within maybe after seven months of starting YouTube is roughly when I started working on season one of Telltales and I was about maybe 10 months in when I actually got it finished. We're talking, it's still, it's still the beginning of the second year technically and I'm starting season two and the best way I can put it is this year 
I plan on at least getting season two and season three done and getting it uploaded. But here's the thing. I also want to push myself to get season four done. I am actually going to do my best to try and get as much of it done as possible. But the best way I can word it is I'm going to need breaks from time to time because let's face it, it's going to be a lot of work. If I can get at least season two done, then I'm going to be... I'm, I'm keep wanting to say the phrase, I'll be made up, but that's Scouse slang, and some of you might not get that. It basically means I'm happy. Uh, what was it? Yeah. Uh, it lost me to train of thought then. Yeah, the point is, if I can get season two done, then that's great. But the moment I finish editing season two, I'm going to get right to editing and working on season three. And of course, same thing's going to happen with season four. Will I be able to fit it in a year? I have no idea, but I can tell you one thing, I'm going to try my best. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough, and I might need breaks from here. I might need breaks here and there, but the reality is I'm going to try. So, anyways, I hope this video has been informative, and like I said before, I'm going to try my best to get the telltales done for you. And, of course, if you want to help me out, like I said, ideally I would like to hit... 250 subscribers within six months if you can help me reach that goal i'd be made up i'm doing it again made up means uh, made up is scout slang for happy for those who don't know there you go so if i say it again you know inform each other on the comment section fucking christ anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you have don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe